So usually the outcomes are really favorable for this group, over 90% survival, but there is a subset of patients. So patients that are very young at diagnosis and patients that have evidence of organ dysfunction um, at diagnosis, and they have a high uh, risk for clinical deterioration and mortality. So we know that 90% of patients with MS neuroblastoma that die are in that group. And so the challenges are identifying those patients and starting therapy as quickly as possible. Um, the other part of it that's typical is these are all oftentimes very young patients, so giving, giving chemotherapy to patients that are within the first few months of life has its own different challenges.